Cassius and Held are quite fortunate enough to be joined by none other than Peter McDonough. Firstly, Peter, how are you? Yeah, very good, James. Um, just relaxing after my fight. Uh, had a little bit of a shoulder injury. Just um, having a bit of rehab done, but keep myself in the gym. Now, we'll come back to you a little bit. I want, the reason we've got you here today, we want to talk a little bit about some of the big fights happening on the channel here on Box Nation, the channel with champions. We've got Liam Smith, Liam Williams coming up as well. It's a fantastic fight. I'd like to get your thoughts on that one, if that's possible. Yeah, it's a very good fight. I mean, what a rematch. You usually don't get the rematches, you know, in fights like this. Um, you know, it was a great first fight. Um, both sustained injuries. Um, obviously, Williams' his one was worse than what Smith's was. Um, so the fight obviously got stopped. Uh, Gary Lockett stopped the fight. But um, I think the second time around, Willi um, Smith's got to start a bit quicker. If you don't start quick again, he could be in trouble. There's been a lot of animosity in the build-up. We've saw some tweets going back and forth from the teams and stuff. Does that play a part? Do you think there will be a lot of mind games in the build of this? And how, how do you think each, each camp will handle that? Yeah, I mean, it's just building the fight, really. I mean, yeah, there is animosity there because um, one person's saying that the other person's a bottle job and that's the worst thing in the world in boxing to be called a bottle job. Um, but obviously we'll, we'll find out come next Saturday. Big, big fight also coming up is Guillermo Rigondeau versus Vasil Lomachenko. A real, a real sort of mouth-watering affair getting them two, two big-name attractions into the ring together. What, what are your thoughts on that as a contest? Um... I think uh, it's not going to be the fight people think he's going to be. You know, they're both cagey, yeah, both clever boxers, and um, I know Lemonchenko comes forward, but I think it's going to be a very, very cagey fight. I'm going to go with Rigan though in this one. You know, I think he's going to be a little bit more slicker and a little bit more sharper. What are your thoughts on fellow countryman uh, Carl Frampton joining the Box Nation stable? Uh, what was your reaction to that? Yeah, and no, I was. Um, I was very happy. Um, obviously, he's part of Team MTK as well. You know, part of my own team. Um, you know, and you can't go have a better team anywhere in the world than MTK. Huge implications for the featherweight division here on Box Nation as well. With Lee Selby being scheduled to fight on December the 9th on Box Nation, Josh Warren and just beating Dennis Sealan in emphatic style. Would you like to see some 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 matchups made between between those guys? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, he's mandatory challenger now. Um, uh, Warren, he's he's proved it. You know, he's managed to challenge that fight. Um, Selby, um, I fancy Selby to beat him. I think he boxes his head off. To be honest, we are. I rate Warren, but I think Selby's like a bit different class. But Frampton, and Selby's the one I want to see. You know, it's going to be a cracking fight. So, do you think Selby Warren that that will be sort of happening? Do you see that happening sort of imminently? Um, yeah, yeah, that, that'll happen. Um, they're already talking about Ellen Road. Um, in, in maybe April time, May time. Um, so I think that fight will happen. He'll get, he'll get uh, Warrington out of the way and then he'll move on to fight um, Frampton maybe in the summer, you know, at uh, uh, Windsor, uh, Windsor Park or wherever it is. Being one of the elder statesmen on the scene, what do you think of some of the new emerging talent we've got coming through, the likes of Daniel Dubois, the likes of Anthony Yard, uh, to name just, just two of the top prospects on Box Nation? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you got, you know, Anthony Yard, he's a class act, and I mean, now he makes light every weight, I don't know, he's, he is massive, but do you know what, you take to people differently when you see him on TV and things like that, but I'll tell you what, what a gentleman he is as well, Anthony Yard, he's a lovely kid, he, and when you say things to him, he takes your advice, you know, so I think he goes a long way. Daniel Dubai, I remember him, he, used to, he was at the Fisher Boxing Club, my old amateur boxing club, um, very, very good talent, punches like an horse, you know, and he's exciting, you know, so he's good. Latest developments on Tyson Fury. We've seen him back in training using some words that Deontay Wilder uh, said to him to, as inspiration to get himself back in the mix. You're trained by Peter Fury. You're around the camp and the team. What, what, what's going on with the Tyson Fury situation? Tyson's uh, back out on the road. He's back out running, and uh, I think Peter wants him to get a bit of weight off before he starts, you know, going back into camp properly. But there's a rumor, James. I don't know if it's 100 percent true, but there's a rumor that um, he's asking Donald Trump to train him for his next fight. Speaking of next fights, what, what's going on with yourself? We lost all your good win against Shane Singleton. There was talk potentially that you're you're trying to make a state statement to get your hands on a European title. Where where are you at at this moment in time? Uh, firstly, James, before we move on to myself, I just want to uh, mention someone else that's on the Frampton report. Obviously, top of the bill, Jamie Conlon, fighting for the world title. Um, been around Jamie a long time. I was one of the people to help name him the Mexican. I used to walk in with him with sombreros and all that. And, I think I fancy Jamie can pull it off, you know. I fancy whatever you put in front of him, task-wise, 
I think he might pull this off the world title fight, you know, and another world title run. What's going on in the world of Peter McDonald then? When can we anticipate seeing you out? What What's the plan? I'm looking at um, I'm looking at uh, New Year. Um, obviously, staying in the gym. Peter said, "Keep in the gym, keep keep training hard." Then we go back to camp in January. Um, it was an hard camp, the last one. You know, it was it was a big fight for myself. You know, first first real fight for over a year. You know, I was out a year. Um, yeah, no, I, I was really looking forward to Eglinton coming through that fight because that's the fight I wanted, um, Sam Eglinton. But um, you know, it, it, the French kid won M Mabu. Or something, I don't even know his name. I can't think his name. He won. Minu M. <laughs> Minu Moon. Sorry. Mini Mini Me. <laughs> Minu Moon. Whatever his name is. Yeah, he won. Um, so that's the fight I want. And you know, if we can make it happen, Peter's going to try and make it happen. Daniel's going to try and make it happen. Manager. So hopefully MTK can get this fight on for me and. I win the European title when I, I told you, I told you four years ago, I'm a Cinderella man and I'm going to the ball again and I'm taking that European title.